It's a chilly morning as Nicole Rattay gets ready to head out on a ride along with animal control officer Lori Brown. It's the second time in three weeks she's been out on patrol. I got notification that I was accepted into the program. I was very excited about that because I'm really looking forward to being a part of an organization that has a, a positive impact on the lives of animals and their owners. And that program is the County of San Diego Animal Law Enforcement Academy. Now I said we operate three different shelters just to give you an idea of how big the county is and where they're at. These six individuals are listening attentively to every word being said. Hopefully you all know where you're at right now. It's the first day down a new road for these students. This classroom will be a big part of their lives for the next several weeks. We protect animals and we protect the public. Nicole and her fellow trainees are the lucky ones chosen to participate in the 35th session of the Academy. Every new animal control officer that gets hired by the county to work at our department, regardless of their previous experience, goes through with this basic training. For 10 weeks, animal law enforcement classes will be their main focus. It's not the high stress we're yelling at you, it's not like boot camp. Not all their training will come in the classroom. The ride along is an important part of their academy. 10-8 uh, with a ride along. Their shift begins with a look at the activity log. This is the activity number. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the type of call. Each of the activities are going to have the activity, um, the call type, the area. And then it's off. Drive point five miles, then turn right. I think a lot of people gravitate toward this job because they like animals. The first stop, a 669. Means the dog was running loose. And the 669.1 means the dog, there was some kind of property damage or, you know, an animal was attacked. A lot to remember in the short time she's been at the academy. There is so much information to take in. I'm, I'm sure that each trainee is only getting a small percentage of, of all the information that's being given to us on any given ride along. And of course, there's learning opportunities everywhere. Pick something where it's solid behind you and then you're able to see this and what's going on in front of you. Okay. So because if you're standing like, stand towards the door, mm -hmm. if you approach the door, mm -hmm. and then something comes up and goes, gotcha, okay. On this call, the owners weren't home, so a notice is posted. Next stop, an appointment with a Rottweiler. We're going to uh, just go there and check and make sure the dog has weight gain. Okay. Any time you come onto someone's property and you're checking to make sure that the animals are not going to immediately come at you, and this is when you always want to have something in your hand, oh, which you're head. missing. Yes. <laughs> Oops. As a trainee, mistakes are part of the game. I'm really enjoying my experience with the Animal Control Academy. There's a lot to learn, and it is challenging, but the staff has been very engaging. They're very generous with their time, and the things that we're getting to learn are exciting and interesting. Their next call involves a search. Two dogs have been reported roaming free in an open area. We're just yep. looking for two pit bulls. White pit bull and brown and gray pit bull. Yeah. In this case, it doesn't take long for the dogs to show themselves. Down there. They're coming this way on the driveway. They're friendly, just out for a stroll. He's the camera guy. It's okay. Their owner shows up looking for them. Are they yours? Yeah. A quick trip to the owner's house to get things straightened out. One license is expired. Did you mail them both at the same time? I did. Let me check the computer one more time. Yeah, Maybe they, we, we do all three of them at the same time. Okay. Yeah. So a quick transaction and the pit bulls are safe and sound back at home. We work a lot with people and you have to have a really good ability to communicate with people and deal with people because that's probably a bigger part of the job than, than dealing with animals, really. Nicole will end her day with Officer Brown, and tomorrow it's back to the classroom, knowing one more day is in the books at the Animal Law Enforcement Academy.